Grand Rising family. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Uh, welcome to your daily reading. Thank you so much for being here, Aquarius. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, donating to the channel, scheduling readings with me. so how you guys can support each other and support me as well. My I'm only available on Mondays, um, so my next available is November 4th. So, all right, let's go. Let's just get started with our daily message here. All right, fam. Let's go. What is the message here for the Aquarius Collective Spirit? Again, every time you guys comment below, emoji, anything, it does help as well. So thank you guys for doing that. Thank you guys for clicking like. If you guys, you know, uh, join us here daily and you enjoy the readings, that's how you guys can help me out. Um, and remember, take only what resonates and leave the rest for others. Don't give your power away to a reader. You have free will. Use your discernment, okay? All right, I'm going to split the deck for Aquarius. We have teacher. Is that what you're doing? Aquarius having fun in your life, in your energy, joyous fun, teaching. You're a teacher. You guys could be ex ex sharing your wisdom, sharing your knowledge, guiding people in your life, okay? I'm going to leave that there. Or you guys could be learning something new. As well, going to school, you could be the professional that's offering assistance to other, or you could be uh, in, the, in the process of being guided to seek professional assistance. Uh, if there's something you don't know, there's somebody else that's stronger. Like, for example, when I hired somebody to, uh, you know, freshen up my resume and, and do my resume for me. <laughs> Uh, that's not my area of expertise or hiring somebody to do your website for you, right? Um, again, that is uh, here for you. Let me get one more here for Aquarius Spirit for today, for, for Monday. Today is my a day off from work, but not really because I have clients. I also get my granddaughter today, so it's going to be wonderful. Haven't seen her. In a while, my uh, other one, the one that just turned five. Okay, we have family, friends, and guys, and peace. Wow, how beautiful. That's your intention for yourself, and that's what you're being guided towards. Okay, be open to learning, right, so that you can teach uh, what you're learning here. So that's what you're guided towards is peace. Um, that's what your friend, this right here, spirit, spirit team, your friends, family, and your guides on the other side is, uh, helping you. Okay. We have here conflict at the bottom of the deck and a consciousness of lack. This is what you're coming out of. Okay. You're receiving a lot of success in your life. Happy success, happy success with family as well. Okay. You have been receiving a lot of healing, healing energy and healing light. This is what you're coming out of. This has been coming to me a lot lately because, you know, I work in an environment outside in the world where, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's fascinating to me how much, uh, everyone, uh, everyone that I encounter it's very rare that I encounter somebody that's in an abundant mindset out in the world, right? And uh, it's becoming very aware to me. You know, people that complain and complain. Complaining is poverty, okay? And gratitude is, is riches, it's wealth, it's prosperity, it's abundance. What you complain about is what is growing in your life. That's the energy you're putting out. It's multiplying. What you're complaining about is getting stronger and stronger and growing. So you you calling in negative energy towards you when you complain, right? So again, using affirmations, using your affirmations and uh, <clears throat> prayer and staying in gratitude, transmuting the energy, alchemizing the energy, Things are not always going to go the way you want it to go, according to your ego's plan for you. Just trusting and having faith, accepting what is, not taking on the conflict, not taking on other people's stuff will keep you in this beautiful state of peace, okay? That's your intention for yourself, right? So stick to that. Protect your energy from, sometimes you can't protect your energy from this. Sometimes conflict is necessary and it happens to move us. 
out of certain situations or to create change. But as long as you alchemize, you know how to alchemize your energy and come back to peace, come back to love. So ask yourself, what will love do? See only love. How can I bring love into the situation? Right? As long as you can. This could be inner conflict, right? As well. It doesn't have to necessarily be external to you, but trust, you know, the universe. <clears throat> Trust what, what comes, what crashes, what stays, and what goes. And let it, right? That's how you're going to maintain this vibration of peace that you're in at this time or that is your intention for yourself, okay? You have so much support from your deceased loved ones as well as your spirit guides, your angels, ancestors here, okay? Guiding you here. So, all right. So peace comes from acceptance, not really, you know, giving low vibrational things, any kind of energy at all. What else for Aquarius? We have friendliness. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. So you could be meeting new people as well. Uh, you could be, you know, strengthening the bonds that you already have with the people in your life. I know Aquarius is are not friends with everybody. We have uh, people that we know, acquaintances, which is a lot, but we only have a very, very, very tiny circle of people that we call friends. Not everybody is our friend, right? You know this. Uh, it takes a long, long time to earn that spot with Aquarius, uh, to build that bond, that trust, all right, Aquarius. Okay, we have tolerance and transformation. Yeah, you're tolerating. It feels like you're to tolerating a, quite the massive transformation that you have, been, radical transformation you have been undergoing, you know, ascending into your true self, your individuality, stepping into your individuality, being the real you, your authentic self. A lot of people probably don't like it. You could be leaving a lot of people out in the cold here. Okay. Um, you leave your unique stamp of love on everything that you do. That's the truth. Aquarius is very original. So transformation, Aquarius. You, you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. So very aware, becoming very aware, you know, of the people in your life, of yourself, of what needs to change and transform in your life, okay? Uh, you're getting downloads, epiphanies, aha moments, channeled messages from, again, getting a lot of help uh, because you're being guided to joy and peace. And then we have tolerance. You're also very um, selective and cautious with what you tolerate in your life and what you do protecting your energy. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. There's a, there are some things here. Okay. What's under that purpose, expressing your yourself here, uh, creative expression and aligning with your purpose. You possess the determination, dedication to consciously demonstrate love it's everything is all about, it's come, it all comes back to love. It is about love. Love is the highest vibration of all. Okay. So again, right. Do I want to read that? Probably not right now. Oh, let's go with, where's my deck? All right. Let's see what else for Monday. So top, it could be, you know, tolerating this, um, speaking of lack of consciousness, right? We have here the five of pentacles. So be aware, you have awareness here, you're shifting out of it through, you know, fear and lack is an illusion, okay, do your abundance meditations, your abundance affirmations, there's this beautiful, I think I posted it on the community board, this um, uh, activation to be a magnet of abundance, uh, the Pure Rasa, one of her meditations, keep working on your root chakra and meditating with Archangel Shamuel. It's going to help you to keep aligning yourself with abundance. It's not easy to come out of lack. It's a conditioning, a programming, a wound, right? So um, try not to speak poverty and lack and scarcity into your life, okay? Uh, stay. Do your gratitude affirmations. Stay in gratitude. 
as much as possible. Look, five of pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. So especially if you're having financial problems right now, right? If, or you're feeling like abandoned or left out in the cold, um, you know, it can trigger that fear, right? Of survival or that, you know, lack consciousness. Wow. This may not be your energy. This could be somebody in your energy, some kind of loss or ending. Okay. Needing to, uh, this is what's creating the transformation and the change in your life coming out of this, going through a lot of change, two fives coming out of this low vibrational energy of loss and lack and coming into peace. Your angels are guiding you towards peace, right? Learn from, from this and move on and forward, changing your mindset from a negative mindset to more of a, by transforming the energy, transmuting the energy, alchemizing the energy, Okay, look at the bigger picture, the purpose behind the lesson, what you needed to learn in this situation here. Remember, not everything, again, the healing, when you go through the ego death, right, you understand, you release your attachment to things, you under, or, or people and situation. You appreciate and value them when they're there. You, you know, learn from the experience. You understand that, you know, not everybody's meant to be in our life. When you have that understanding, you really come into a state of peace. Not everything and everyone is forever. Some people come in for a reason or a season, a purpose, right? To teach us something, especially karmic situations, to teach us something important, okay? About our self-love and self-worth, okay? And um, all right, so let's see. This may not be your energy. This could be somebody in your energy here that's feeling this way because you are, you no longer tolerating <laughs> Uh, any kind of karmic, you're breaking the, you become aware here, you're breaking the pattern, you're, this transformation, you're trans, you're changing, you're not the same person you were, you're changing from the inside out and also changing externally, people don't recognize you anymore, okay, you, your old life, the way you used to think and your belief system has changed so much and now you're being guided into your purpose towards teaching what you've been learning okay what tell me here for Aquarius you I feel like you're going through a huge uh crown chakra activation as well there could be some kind of conflict or some kind of storm see the waves crashing there it's an event that could be coming in, but again, you have mastered how to take back your energy, how to take control of your energy, how to come back to yourself here, how to come back to balance and harmony with breath work, meditation, again, saging, <laughs> you know, spending time in nature, using your affirmations. Okay. You understand that everything happens for a reason bigger picture right to move us to, into the right direction we have here knight of pentacles in reverse something just is not moving forward at all stuck here or something could be moving very fast let's see what else for aquarius from well okay that was at the bottom of the deck and now that jumped you are um in this really beautiful you are in this energy of peace Okay. And acceptance here. It feels like you are moving here. Um, we have the Knight of wands here. Can I have more? Wow. Huge change. The wheel of fortune, huge change here. Uh, sometimes this, this is a soulmate card. It's a cycle shift. You're shifting into a new cycle. You could be taking some kind of you're moving in a new direction. It's looking like you're turning your back on a situation that's not moving, that's stuck and you take an inspired action. Um, and it's creating major change. Uh, the wheel of fortune is the end of delays end of delays because you shifted your energy. You shifted your focus, uh, somewhere else. Okay. You're taking your cup of love somewhere else. Uh, it feels like an intention here, an intention towards peace, that's where you're moving towards taking inspired. I don't know if this Knight of Wands is you, that you're finally taking passionate, inspired action towards another direction, towards what you want to create in your life, okay? Towards your purpose or 
whatever you're feeling passionate about. There is a flames of passion ignites. There's new passion in your love life, in your career. Um, but again, you're doing it with love. It's like, I let you go with love. You know, it's like very graceful. I have no anger. I have no bitterness. I have no animosity. You know, the queen of cups is a queen of forgiveness, compassion, and empath. You know, you, you, you're, you're, you're in the vibration of peace. You're in the vibration of love here. Okay. It's very beautiful. Uh, this, this energy, very psychic and intuitive and creative at this time. Um, but it feels like you're very empowered. Okay. So you could do both. You could set, be fierce, be strong and set those strong boundaries and still, and do it with love. Right. And still be open and receptive. You're in receiving energy. That's why you're getting a lot of miracles coming your way. A lot of blessings. Clarify this night of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Okay. So there's a situation here. This could be talking about a soulmate of yours. Um, that's been retreating. You have retreated. This person has retreated. Okay. It just feels like, wow, there's a tower. Could have had a tower moment. Yep. That walking away, leaving it behind right here, walking away. Okay, Tower Moment, Eight of Cups, Five of Swords. You could be dealing here with somebody here that has a lot of, you know, I'm I'm getting um, egos crashing here, okay? Egos clashing and crashing and clashing. Um, battle of wits, right? Um, somebody here that's self-sabotaging energy, okay? But again, it feels like this person here is healing or, or you have been healing. Okay. Um, there's a lot of patience, tolerance here, right? There's a lot of patience that you have here towards a situation, but I, I feel like you, what you have is a lot of understanding, you know, you have awareness. So you understand that people's behavior and their actions doesn't have anything to do with you. It's coming from their own woundings, imprints, conditionings, programmings. Okay. And it's like, you're no longer going to let people control you, manipulate you, um, you know, have narcissistic tendencies towards you, use you. Okay. This is somebody here that's very controlling. And if this is a card of change and surrender, you're like walking away from the fight. Okay. This person is, is, addicted to conflict and chaos. I'm getting that as well. And you're, and you're interested in moving towards peace. And this person takes you out of peace. You could have retreated from this person so you can heal and come into balance here and harmony. Remember alchemy, right? Transmuting energy coming out of feeling stuck in your life, clearing energy from your body. I'm getting, releasing a lot of emotions. Aquarius tends to hold in a lot of emotion. So cry if you're guided to cry. Okay. Re healing here. And as you are, as the si this situation was stuck, trust the detours, the pauses and the delay, the situation was stuck for a reason because you were meant, you're getting a lot of clarity and a lot of, uh, awareness, uh, an insight here in this four swords energy that you were in and come in into harmony, balance, and peace. You're guided in your dreams. You're guided. You're being guided. I mean, I had a dream last night of a black snake. I need to look that up and what that means. It was specific. Um, again, through your dreams, through your family and friends, you're getting messages in your dreams. Uh, have a dream journal, write, write it down. Um, and again, you're restoring yourself here from within and look, and now you're in queen of cups energy. After you took the time here to balance out your emotions, to clear some, some four of swords comes after the three of swords, right? Mental calmness, resting, med integrating, resting, healing, and meditating. Okay. Tell me about this queen of cups for Aquarius. This could be you or somebody in your energy coming towards you. It feels like it's you. Cause somebody's coming towards you here, but I don't know if you're going to accept. I don't think you're going to accept this cup. 
because it's coming from this devil energy, this king of cups energy that's obsessed with you, that's not emotionally available, four of cups, okay, that um, they're thinking, they're watching you nonstop, yeah, watching you from a distance nonstop, obsessed with, with, with watching you, okay, they are in love with you, they just don't express it, they're obsessed with you, here, they can't stop feeling you or thinking about you here. That's who's coming towards you, okay? Uh, it could have been a period of not non-movement or for healing, for balance. I, I heard I'm, I'm balancing out my energy and figuring out my feelings, okay? And you have been changing and transforming. You got two knights here. So this is a person here that may have rejected you in the past, okay? Um, but again, this person has a strong fear of rejection. Feels like this person could be watching and waiting for you to be in queen of cups energy for them to make their approach. You know, um, you're going to receive this person with love or that's the guidance here. Um, this devil energy really is somebody that that's what, you know, there's the devil and then there's the lovers, right? And there's the devil between the lovers. So again, it's like the devil, <clears throat> this person may be a little toxic, okay? The devil is what's standing in between the two lovers. And the two lovers is chained up, but they could break free from that. And the devil could be anything from this person's own pride and ego to their addictions, if they have addictions. Or it could be a whole nother person that, that is the devil between you guys from coming together, right? So... And this person, let's tell me more about this. I'm going to find out more information about this person. Tell me about this Knight of Cups coming towards Aquarius. Yeah, fam. This person brings conflict into your life and drama. This person brings chaos. Okay. Puts you in competition, you know, where you can't, you can't compete where you don't compare. Right now, this person wants to come out of this conflict with you. A forgive forgiveness really does bring peace into your life okay and um yeah there's conflict here because this person's in a state of lack because of, you're walking away you're going in another direction you're rejecting this person they feel your absence they feel your detachment tell me more one more on this knight of cups They, they're coming out of some kind of challenging. They, they want to come out of conflict with you. They're ready for the challenge. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups here coming towards Aquarius. Yeah, the lovers. This is somebody that you have a very strong, deep connection with, spiritual connection. Okay. But again, there's a decision. There's a major choice. Okay, they want union with you, possible possible physical union, right? But there's but again, I, it, it feels like you drawing a line in the sand here with this person, okay? Yeah, and it's going to, you know, trigger this, right? Within them. Or it could have been what you already said to them, you know, they have been repeating it in their head. Here, this person here that's in lack, self, what is it? Victim consciousness and self-pity, right? So, um, and again, you're no longer tolerating them, you know, treating you like you're not worthy of, 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 uh, you know, effort <laughs> and support and everything that consists of a healthy relationship. This person here has lack consciousness. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person is stuck on you. Okay. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop watching you. I feel it feels like it's this person here. Um, the same person. Okay. That this is how they, they have, we have three knights here. That's this person's personality. 
They're everywhere. They're chaos. They're conflicted. Okay, they don't know how to approach you. They don't know what to say. This is a situation. It's like you're no longer stuck. That's what I'm getting. You're in this beautiful, single, independent, mysterious energy, abundant, okay, self-made entrepreneur energy, taking good care of your health, your body, your business, your family. You're just living in the moment and content in your life. Very independent energy, embracing your individuality. You have transformed. You have experienced. You went through like a huge awakening here, okay? Um, again, seeing things differently here, changing your perspective around the whole situation is what's going to help to move you forward in life. But again, I do feel like for some reason, I feel like it's somebody watching you and seeing you change, seeing you transform, seeing you glow up and, uh, you know, changing their perspective of seeing you from all angles here and changing their perspective about you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, wow, look at all this energy here. It feels like you're going to turn this person down. Tell me about this hanged man. You how you are seeing that this situation isn't going anywhere. It's just keeping you stuck here. Tell me about this hanged man. Pisces energy. I'm getting this person here is 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 just you know, wants to play around. Not take playing at love, I heard. The hanged man. Clarify the hanged man. This person has some growing up and maturing to do. All these knights. Clarify the hanged man. Ace of cups. Holy, they're waking up to the fact that they're in love with you. That's the awakening. I'm also getting, if you've been on a pause and you have been manifesting new love, trust the pause, the delays and the detours is for a reason. Okay, it's going to be the end of this. Um, new love is here. Here's another ace. Okay, you're blocking out access denied to anyone that wants to put you in a third party situation. I also heard you're going to need to tr have choose. Choose. There's a choice between people here, okay? I'm getting that as well. But again, there is a huge cup of love coming your way. Um, and an ace of pentacles as well for stability, for security. I want to know uh, about this first then. There's a huge cup of love coming your way. You're not, you're all, you're interested in harmonious, peaceful relationship that's going to add to your life and bring you stability and bring you security. Uh, that's what it looks like here because that's where you are in your life. Look, wishing well. There's a lot of excitement. There's a momentum. There's a lot of excitement in the air. You've awakened a new life in them that has them lost in a field of possibilities. We saw that with the four of cups. This person is daydreaming and fantasizing, unhappy, bored, discontent in their life or you. That I don't feel like you are. I feel like you're in this nine of pentacles energy and queen of cups. Show me this person. This Knight of Cups here. Yeah, fam. It feels like there's an awakening here. The reason why the for the pause is that so somebody can wake up here, uh, align with the frequency and the vibration of love, and wake up to, you know, how they feel. Accept it instead of, you know, it's hard to admit how much I love you kind of thing, you know, uh, that I'm, that I'm, it's hard to to admit. What was that energy that came out last night? What was that energy? It said, uh, I posted it on Instagram. I'm going to actually use this deck. It's too scary to admit that I'm in love with you. I've never felt love this deeply before. I'm, I'm going to use this deck. Uh, show me this person's energy. towards a, That's coming towards a quarter this night of cups. Unspoken love, Aquarius. I told you. And losing battle. I can't make this stuff up. That battle of wits. I said that earlier. You are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. <laughs> this person thinks it's you against them. Not you and them against the world. You know, like there's a lot of ego that this person has. A lot of pride. Right? And... um. Unspoken love. 
They have been carrying a torch for you for all alone, but unable to express their love due to their fear of rejection. This person's in, that's the, the awakening here. They're in love with you, but they just don't know. You intimidate this person. You have changed a lot. They just don't know how to approach you anymore. They try this way. Doesn't work. Uh, they try this way. They try that way, <laughs> you know, and, and you're just here unbothered. Unspoken love, Aquarius. They're divinely guided. They feel like they have been, again, this person, victim consciousness. They feel like they've been uh, dealt a bad hand at life here. Okay. They wish they would have met you sooner. Um, again, you have met your divine flame. Just again, I feel like this person is hot and cold on and off in and out. There's a pause and then they come back. And that's a cycle that, you know, you're not interested in this. It's a cycle that you want to, a pattern that you want to break. Um, follow the signs to your, follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. Yeah, this is a divine flame of yours. You're going through a huge transfer, transformation. There's just uh, your tolerance, your resist, your, your resilience, your perseverance, okay, you've gotten stronger, right? But again, you're also not tolerating, you're not tolerating anyone's um, um, games, right? You're not tolerating anyone's games. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. You're not putting up with somebody's lack of stability, insecurities, childish. You know, there was something I posted last night. If you're dealing with this, if or dealt with this, right? This kind of explains it. Okay. Uh, hold on a sec. Right here. It says a man, an active wound will run away, reject and abandon her when she's upset or even slightly disappointed in him. Her disappointment confirms his belief that he is never enough. And as a result, she will eventually abandon him. That's his belief, right? He fears he is unlovable, broken, and deficient. He is always protecting himself and also preparing for her to leave him. So the self, we saw the five of swords. This person self sabotages. They have a lot of ego. They're criti They're sensitive to criticism. We saw the king of cups. They're sensitive, very sensitive, highly sensitive to criticism and rejection. It's like when you walk away, this person comes back and chases you. When he's triggered. He no longer feels like her man. He acts out, turns into a scared and angry boy. He is desperate to be right, to be seen, and for someone to love him in his dysfunction. Again, this person here is is drama person. They pick fights to see if you care. He questions his lovability. He questions his worth. He doesn't believe he's good enough for her. So he pushes her away, tests her love, can't handle even the gentlest feedback, keeps her at a distance, pulls her close, and then throws her away. Won't fully commit, right? Won't fully commit. Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Um, desperately chases her when, when she's had enough. Sound familiar, Aquarius? She can feel his beautiful heart under the pain, and she knows that he loves her. But his unhealed wound and inner narrative is blocking him from being able to show up for her in the way that he wants and the way that she needs. So that's why you got to just accept what is. Let me get uh, guidance for you when it comes to this. Got to accept what is. And look at this. There is deep love here. Yeah. And this person, wow, getting ready to take a leap. Here they come again. Getting ready to take a leap of faith. There is deep love here. Okay. Between you and this person. Healing love even. Right. And then we have the cycle here, the cycle from the past that's ending. Okay. Because you learn everything you needed to learn. It, 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 it's sounding like and looking like it's abandonment wounds from the past, rejection wounds, self-worth. Okay. So here, this person, I was getting ready to clarify this ace of cups. Is this, this person unspoken love, right? Uh, fighting it, losing battle and losing, resisting, fighting it, trying to push it away, uh, trying to emotionally detach, not winning, right? Um, 
And again, this person just needs time to go through their awakening. They're watching you. You inspire this person. You challenge this person, right? In beautiful ways. Tell me about this person. They miss you. They can't stop thinking about you here. And I don't, I don't know if I'm, it doesn't sound like I'm talking to somebody here that is uh, a, a karmic. Okay. Even though sometimes these connections can become meaning like a karmic that you're, that's, you're not meant to be with kind of thing. Okay. Because connections are karmic. And, but again, there is such a thing as past life stuff, right? Lessons, spiritual lessons that we're meant to learn, you know, to grow and help us to grow, evolve and ascend in this lifetime from certain people. Karmic is when we continue to repeat patterns and cycles and not learn from them until we finally do. And then we can clear that karma and close out that cycle. Right. But there is this, this right here is a soul tie, a, a soul contract that you have with somebody. And until you, it feels like you're going to be some, this, you and this person here, it feels like you have been freeing yourself from this already because you have been learning and mastering. You have awareness. You've been transforming the energy, alchemizing the energy. You took this, this, the stuck energy and you went within and did the work. Okay. And now you're moving on. You have your back turned and now they want to come back. Okay. Uh, tell me about this person. Wow. Yeah. You know, imagine that, right? Imagine that you're the divine feminine here. Okay. There's stuck energy here. And then we have the fall. There's some offer. Is an offer coming in the fall for you? Imagine that. Imagine, you know, being, living a life, a false life, a false reality, a fake life, a double life, or living a life where you're in love with somebody but you let your pride, your ego, third party interference, or your, your settling, your, your comfort zone, keep you from, from, you know, again, you have, this person's in their free will. Okay. There's nothing stopping or holding this person back, but themselves and them holding themselves back here, stuck, right? Stuck not a page without direction. Them holding them in love, but stuck unspoken love is keeping them in grief. Imagine feeling the pain and the agony of being in love with somebody and not being able to be with them because of your own self. The divine feminine here walk, turn, have back turned, walking away. They're in grief. Okay. Uh, missing you longing for you. They're not following re in resistance, guarded energy, not following their intuition. But we see here that that's going to change. Is that what's changing? That's the cycle that's closing. Is that what's changing here with the wheel of fortune? But to say, look, family in reverse. Family in reverse. That could be what's keeping this person from their free will here. Or again, it could be that that's what, you know, is the interference here. Yeah, third party interference from this union. There's a wedge between you guys. This person wants to return. They're devoted to you. The flame is never going to be put out, but they have a lot of fear and a lot of regret. There's that's the divine masculine we're talking about. A lot of fear, a lot of regret in their energy. And that's what's keeping them from feeling worthy and good enough, right? The regret, the guilt, shame, regret keeps us from feeling worthy. This, this person is, is the one that gets in their own way. Okay. They are, they are in their free will. Um, it feels like this person may have a family, um, or you may have had a family with this person. Take it how it resonates, but it's upside down. Okay. Look, devotion, their, their flame, right. Is never going to put it, be put out for you. This person is stuck on you. They can't move on from you. Okay. And then we have this union here. That, that is, you know, pending, pending up in the air. Be, uh, there's a third party that's interfering with this. 
a third party could mean anything. It could be children, could be addictions, could be job, work. This person may be a workaholic, could be uh, a family, friends, uh, whatever, another person. Take it. You guys know your story. Could be distance, could be another country, another state. So um, tell me, clarify grief. Patience, being patient, trying to be, right? Temperance energy, compromise, metamorphosis, and mask, ascend ascending. So this person is hiding, unspoken love. They're wearing a mask. They're seeing how much you're changing here. Now what? They want to try to compromise. They want to compromise. They're going through a transformation or you. Clarify divine feminine. Muse. Wow. Didn't I say you inspire this person? I said that earlier. You are this person. They write poetry about you. Musicians make songs about you. Um, you inspire them to change, transform, ascend, heal, evolve. Patience because this person is still, it feels like this person is still healing here. Okay. That's why there's no movement. That's why everything just feels very stuck. You keep doing you. Okay. Um, and keep moving on, explore your options. You're seeing, and that's what this person is freaking out because you're single and you're independent. Things are transforming. What is the guidance for Aquarius regarding this, this lover's card, this lover's energy, this knight of cups, this person here could be watching you move on to other people and exploring your options. And that's what's lighting a fire of a, a passion. The flames of passion ignite burning desire. The pull, divinely guided, the pull, right, to you is here. What is the guidance for Aquarius? And then I'll get you some messages from this person. What's the guidance for Aquarius when it comes to this person here? Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow in this situation. So you could be, so you let the universe surprise you where it, where it will lead again, allowing the natural evolution, don't release control and allow and surrender and allow the natural evolution of a connection to evolve how it's meant to it's, but right now it's simple. Yeah. Again, this person doesn't take criticism very well. Okay. It, it, it makes their lack of their, their lack of self-worth not feeling worthy of you, um, it triggers that even more, makes it worse. But again, this person needs to be challenged, right? But with love, <laughs> we have, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. You, that's what you are doing right here. Uh, pages, uh, sorry, four of swords, temperance, I'm not arguing with you about my, my worth and my value, about what I want. We're not having this discussion. I've, I'm not repeating myself anymore. Aquarius, when Aquarius is, you have not disconnected emotionally from this person yet. But when you do, there is no coming back, right? You're still connected, Queen of Cups, emotionally to this person. You're trying to detach from this person and explore your options, right? Um, and, and you keep doing that, right? Um, it's important right now to take, maybe it's because you're not meant to. Listen to your heart. Follow your heart. Maybe you're not meant to. Maybe there's still, there's more to unfold here, right? That you're meant to learn more from this person here, teacher. Uh, it's important right now to take a step back and spend time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Self-love, self-worth, self-care, Okay. Things are getting ready to change. Can I have one more for Aquarius? Remember, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are in your relationship with will magically transform. Transformation. It's transforming. It's changing. It's changing here, okay? Keep doing what you're doing. You're an inspiration. What 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 is the other reflection? Yeah, give each other space at the moment. We have that more than once. Give each other pause. It's on, it's on a pause. It's, at, it's on a pause. Give each other space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. 
Trust and have faith. That's your thing. Faith, right? Hope and faith. We have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. This is, you know, trust your guides, your angels that's, you know, trying to get you, trying to align you here with peace. That's your intention for yourself. So focus on that. You do have love coming your way. It's already here. Okay. Feel that your soulmates already with you. Your true love is already with you in the here and now you already met your true love. Feel that, believe that, and they will manifest. Okay. Release the lack consciousness here, right? Of, of, I don't have it. Okay. Um, and, and, and feel, know, and believe that you already manifested that, you know, right now it's just, it's a, people are going to do human things. People are going to do human things, right? Free will here. It's a process. Okay. And, um, that's what, that's what I'm getting. Let's get some messages from them. What, what does this person want to say? You're gorgeous, both on the inside and now you bring peace. You're a peaceful person. That's why you're a healer, a light worker an earth angel that you are love. So again, you bring love and peace into this person's life right here. That's possibly what they're thinking about. You're an earth angel. Your, your angels, friends, your deceased loved ones and spirit guides are helping you here to heal. That's why things are at a pause right now so that you can, you know, take this time out to give love to yourself, to balance out your emotions, to uh, release, clear some emotions, stuck emotions from your body. You're gorgeous, both inside and out being around you brings peace and light into my life. Yes. Queen of that's why they keep coming back. It feels like this person is chaos. That's why they like your energy, but they need to find that within themselves first, right? So that they are, they know how to love you from a healthy place. What else does this person want to say to Aquarius? This Knight of Cups. Wow, you're always in my heart. Even though I'm not in touch, I observe you from a distance. I can never find the right words to say to you. I push you away instead of bringing you closer to me. Unspoken love. Oh my goodness. That's why this person is in so much grief. They're having, it's hard for them to have patience. They're anxiously waiting to see you, to speak to you. This person is madly in love with you. Yeah, look, family, family. I can't go against my family. I let them have too much control over me. I'm stuck now. This person may have a family. This could be their family. Look, but they are in their free will energy, okay? And that's and this not going against their family, not, not following their what they're guided to do divinely guided that's why you're moving on right it's putting this person in serious grief devastation we saw the five of pentacles five of cups four of cups they're extremely miserable and unhappy they're in grief okay and um because they can't go again look at that there you there it is i said this earlier you challenge me in ways that make me grow even though it's difficult i know it's right this came out last night for for uh, Instagram as well. You understand me better. You see this person transparency right through. Your eyes can see into my soul. You understand me better than anyone else. Your eyes can see into my soul. I can't hide from you. No one can hide from Aquarius. You already know that this person is in love with you, even if they never told you. Okay? So they, they see you so beautiful. This person is madly in love with you. Okay? Um, but again, they're, they're, they're going through grief because they're resisting, they're resisting, they're in, not following their higher self, their intuition, their heart and soul guiding them to you because of their, um, duty responsibilities, their loyalty to th these karmics in their life. That's the third party. That's the wedge. Um, you're always in my heart. This person is watching you. They stay watching you. We started with that. I can't go against my family right there. That's why that family card came out in reverse. They may be going against their family. Okay. That's what it's looked like because again, their burning their desire, their passion, their love for you. They're guided to you is so strong. I can never find the right words to say to you. So they just stay quiet. 
They don't know what to say. You intimidate this person. Okay. Yes, because they are in love with you. And then we have you challenge me. You will definitely challenge this person. You definitely do because of your strength, your, your energy. Okay. You are challenging them to ascend, to grow, evolve, transform, heal, because you're, you're not, you know, and that's what a great healthy relationship is about is one that both it's a balanced relationship is one that both challenges and supports. Right. So, um, all right, fam, I'm going to leave this here right now. Things are just, you're just going to keep doing you again, focusing on you, on your life. And again, that's what the, it's important right now to, to place your energy on yourself, to give to yourself, to just keep working on letting go, moving on, moving forward, exploring your options. Okay. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless you. And I'm going to stay much love. Mm -hmm.